In the chess game of modern warfare, hypersonic missiles have become the queen, powerful, agile and nearly impossible to counter. These high-speed weapons have revolutionized the art of conflict, bringing an unprecedented level of precision and effectiveness to the battlefield. But what makes these missiles so potent? It's their blistering speed soaring past Mach 5. That's over five times the speed of sound. Couple that with their precision, and you have a weapon that can strike targets from afar, swiftly and accurately. Now imagine these hypersonic missiles launching from beneath the ocean's surface. That's right, we're talking about underwater hypersonic testing. This development takes the game of warfare to a whole new depth, literally. It's a critical step towards integrating these missiles into submarines, offering a surprise attack capability that's challenging for enemies to track. As we delve into this era of underwater hypersonics, the stakes are high. The United States, Russia and China are all vying for the upper hand, each pouring resources into developing this technology. As the world's superpowers race to harness this new technology, one question remains, who will reach the finish line first? In the heartland of America, Indiana, a project of unprecedented scale is underway. The U.S. Navy is spearheading an initiative to construct an underwater test facility designed specifically for hypersonic missiles. This isn't just a building project, it's a scientific endeavor of great importance. Hypersonic missiles, known for their speed and precision, are becoming crucial tools in modern warfare. And this facility will serve as a crucial testing ground. But why underwater? That's where the real intrigue lies. The behavior of hypersonic missiles underwater remains a largely uncharted territory. Unlocking the secrets of how these missiles operate in such conditions is no small feat, but the benefits could be monumental. The ability to launch hypersonic missiles from submarines could provide a new surprise attack capability, making these weapons even more formidable. The facility will play a central role in understanding and harnessing this potential. This facility is not just a testament to technology but a bold statement of intent in a global race. As the world powers vie for supremacy and hypersonic weaponry, this underwater test facility represents America's determination to lead the way. As the saying goes, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. In this race, the adversaries are Russia and China. The hypersonic race is a global contest not for the faint of heart. It's a triathlon of technology, precision and speed where the United States, Russia and China are vying for the top spot. The stakes are high and the rewards even higher. Russia, the seasoned veteran, is making significant strides, outfitting its submarines with hypersonic missiles. It's like watching a chess grandmaster at work, each move calculated and precise. Russia's progress is more than just a technological marvel, it's a game changer. The ability to launch hypersonic missiles from submarines adds a new element of surprise making them harder for adversaries to track. Then there's China, the rising star in this hypersonic race. China's advancements in the field are noteworthy. Their progress is akin to a sprinter gaining momentum, running tirelessly toward the finish line. The timely development and deployment of hypersonic missiles have become increasingly critical for them. It's a race against time, and every second counts. But let's not forget the United States, the seasoned trailblazer. The construction of the underwater test facility in Indiana is a testament to their determination to stay ahead in this race. It's a strategic move to understand the behavior of hypersonic missiles underwater, a critical step towards integrating them into submarines. In this high-stakes race, every second and every leap forward counts. The finish line isn't just about technological superiority, it's about ensuring the security and defense of nations. As the race intensifies so does the anticipation, the world watches, waits and wonders who will emerge victorious in the global hypersonic race. The development of submarine-launched hypersonic missiles is not just about speed, it's about reshaping the battlefield. Imagine a world where speed and precision take center stage, where conventional cruise missiles are relegated to the past. That's the promise of hypersonic technology. These weapons hold a significant advantage over their conventional counterparts, in terms of both effectiveness and efficiency. They can strike targets from afar with unparalleled accuracy, rendering traditional defense systems virtually obsolete. An adversary's ability to counter or intercept these missiles is greatly hindered by their sheer speed and precision. But the real game-changer lies beneath the waves. Launching hypersonic missiles from submarines introduces a new layer of unpredictability. It's like playing a high-stakes game of hide-and-seek in the vast expanse of the world's oceans. The enemy knows you're out there, but they don't know where or when you'll strike. 
This surprise attack capability makes tracking and defending against these weapons a formidable challenge for any adversary. However, let's not forget that with great power comes great responsibility. Harnessing the potential of hypersonic technology requires not only technological prowess but also strategic acumen. It's about understanding the battlefield, knowing when to strike, and most importantly, striking with precision. As the saying goes, the best defense is a good offense. With hypersonic missiles that offense just got a whole lot faster.